lesson number nine. Uh, the end is nigh. You guys are doing well. Uh, this lesson is going to be about macros and hyperlinks. Okay, so uh, first up, a macro. Uh, macro is just a recording of what you've done on your screen, and I'll show you how to do a simple one. Okay, so uh, we're going to create a macro that navigates between some pages. So uh, let's just make a new page here. A new sheet. Drag it to the very front by clicking it and holding it and sliding it. Rename it, and we're going to call this one menu or uh, yeah, we'll just go with menu. Okay, this is going to be like our uh, our main sort of menu because we've got multiple sheets. Um, we want sort of like an index, almost like a navigation window. Okay, for Shifty Bob's car sales. So we're going to be a little creative here. And let's just make a bit of a title page: Shifty Bob's car sales. And we're just going to. You feel free to not do exactly what I do, but just try and make it look a little fancy. I don't know. Let's go with that. All right, shift your Bob's car sales. Um, let's turn off the grid lines on this one because it looks a bit neater. So go view grid lines, turn them off. You can even turn off headings. Okay, so now we've got this title page. Okay, now we want some buttons on this page. So uh, let's go to insert uh, shapes and we're gonna create like a 3D little button happening here. And double click on that. Let's make it look 3D by picking a 3D picture. And that's blue. I don't really like blue. Let's go with, uh, I don't know, light green, sure. Okay, now that looks kind of like a button. Okay, so we got uh, three pages. So we're gonna make three of these. Control C, Control V. All right, uh, let's name them. Let's go weekly sales. And let's just change that font. And we're gonna make this one rates. And what font size was that? 16 and 16, that's good. And this one here, summary. All right, so we've got our three buttons here. Now, um, to simply create navigation, all you gotta do is record a macro, okay? Or you could use a hyperlink, but I'll show you how to do it with a macro first. Okay, so um, let's just start here. We're gonna go with uh, view, go to record macro which is under macros, record macro. And right now we name it. So we're gonna call this one um, jump, jump to weekly. And then in the description, navigates to weekly sales sheet. Okay, just so you know what's going on, press okay. Okay, now we need to do that navigation because right now it's being recorded. Whatever we do is being recorded by the macro. So we're going to click on weekly sales. Okay, now that's it. We're done. So now we stop that recording and it's saved. So now if I, for example, go to summary and then click on my macro view macros and I've got jump to weekly. If I click run, I've now jumped to my weekly sales page. Now, don't want to... Uh, you know, be always clicking on this macro button. So we need to assign it to something. So if we click on menu and weekly sales here, if we right click on that, we can assign a macro to that and it'll actually become a button now. So if we click assign macro and obviously choose the only macro we got, jump to weekly, press okay. Now, when your mouse moves over, it becomes a little finger, meaning that it's a button, just like on a web page. And if you click it, it takes you to weekly sales. Okay, so you've just made yourself a little menu button okay and you can do that um, on these ones as well but uh, that's that's firstly just a macro now you can use macros to record anything you can record yourself printing and then save it as the print button you can record you know deleting some cells and then save that as like a clearing button uh, whatever you want to do uh, you can save it on a macro it's really simple okay now I'll, I'll just quickly show you what the macro coding looks like you don't really need to know it hugely um, but it probably makes sense. If you go to uh, view macro and then step into, 
this is what your macro coding looks like. Okay, so there's a little description of what it does. And then it says sheets, jump, uh, weekly sales and select. So the coding pretty much says select the weekly sales page. Okay, now the more stuff you do, obviously the more code will be left in here. All right, but um, it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, so yeah, press X, man, it'll always prompt you for this, just say okay. Okay, so uh, that's, that's how you assign a button uh, macro. I'll show you how we can turn this into a button without making a macro though. So if we click on rates here, uh, right click it, say hyperlink. Now we get this little window. Now we can link this to anything. We can link it to the videos we've watched, we can link it to a web page. But if we click on current, create, uh, sorry, if we click on place in this document, okay, it gives us a whole bunch of stuff. We can even link it to some of the cells we named, but we want to link it to the rates sheet. So click on rates. And now that's a hyperlink to rates. Okay. So that was probably a little bit easier than uh, creating a macro for in terms of navigation. Now, what we need to usually do to make it um, you know, user-friendly is we need to create some kind of back button on these other pages. So go to weekly sales, paste one of the buttons, and we're going to call it menu. Okay, so this will take us back to our menu page. Okay, just to make it user-friendly. And so let's just create a hyperlink. Takes us to the menu page. Okay. And that's it. So we should probably put one of those on every page. So right click it to select it without pressing it. And we'll paste one up here, the corner, and another one just up here. Okay, so we've just made our thing a little bit more user friendly. So that is how you make real simple macros and hyperlinks. Um, hopefully that's been beneficial. You can experiment a little bit more with macros uh, later on in your own time. So uh, that's all you need to do. Just have navigation going for all of these buttons. So you may as well do this one as well. Hyperlink that to the summary page. Okay, so create navigation between all of your pages. And once that's done, save and uh, move on.